Welcome back. Safety is in focus as companies around the world race to develop new vaccines. Meg Terrell joins us. She's got to look at where risks in this all can come into play. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, David. Vaccines, of course, are a special candidate of medicines because you're giving them to healthy people. So the bar for safety has to be extremely high, especially when you're talking about a pandemic, when hundreds of millions of people, or maybe billions, will be getting these vaccines. The main safety event that experts are on the lookout for is what they tell me right now, a theoretical risk, not one that they've observed with any of these vaccines in the very early data they've seen so far. Uh, it's what's known as immune enhancement, the idea that a vaccine could actually make the infection worse. And this is something that we've seen before with the dengue virus. If people have been infected with one strain when they encounter the next, uh, that previous, the antibodies to the previous strain can actually make the infection worse. We've also seen immune enhancement with vaccines for RSV in the 1960s. And the problems from that delayed development of vaccines for RSV for 30 years. So what kind of trials are needed to prove safety and make people feel comfortable taking these vaccines? Well, Ebola is a recent example of a vaccine that did this in an outbreak scenario. Not a perfect comparison, obviously very different diseases. This would be given for an outbreak versus uh, COVID being a pandemic. But look at the uh, ring vaccination there. That's the efficacy trial they did in about 3,500 people in an active outbreak situation. If you look at how many people they tested for safety, it was 15 thousand. The numbers we're hearing for COVID are even higher. AstraZeneca saying today it's planning a phase three in at least 30,000 people. We talked to Scott Gottlieb this morning on Squawk Box, uh, and he gave some comments about what he's looking for in these large scale trials. Here's what he said. There's going to be a lot of pressure to try to license these vaccines early or make them available under an emergency use authorization based on immunogenicity data, data showing it produces antibodies in people and maybe some early um, safety data. I think we need to do big clinical trials here. We need to make sure we go through a proper development uh, pathway to give people confidence into taking these vaccines. And when you look at um, vaccine trials, typically they're tens of thousands of patients. So guys, a massive challenge here, ensuring safety in such a short period of time will require very large studies.